talk a lot about fashion activism these days, but Beth Ann Hardison has been doing the work long before this movement started. She made history early on in her career as one of a group of gorgeous black models that took to the runway at the Battle of Versailles, the legendary face-off between American and French designers in 1973. She became a force to be reckoned with behind the scenes, striking out on her own with her own modeling agency, the Beth Ann Management Agency. And since then, she's committed herself to leading the charge against diversity, uh, for diversity on the runway. She is never afraid to be the lone voice in speaking out against injustice. And she has been tireless ab about putting equality on the agenda in fashion when no one else would. One of my favorite quotes from Beth Ann, and I think you'll all agree that this is entirely true of her. Before there was Beth Ann Hardison, there was no Beth Ann Hardison. She is one of one, and we are so lucky to have her. And I am so, so very honored to be presenting her this award, one of my personal heroes. Thank you very much. Bienvenidos todos, amigos, amigas. That's it. I want to tell you how happy I am here to be. Can you hear me properly? Okay. Um, I want to tell you how happy I am to be here, mostly because I met Brandis when she first started this journey. And for nine, ten years, she begged me to please let her honor me. And I kept saying, it's during Fashion Week. I can't, be, I can't do it during Fashion Week, right? So between Shoma and Brandis, they got me here. And I'm so happy because I'm mostly proud of her. I'll talk about me in a minute. But I really want to tell you how proud. Hey there, guy. <laughs> um, I really want to tell you how proud I am of Brandis and what she's done. She's built something. I really mean it. It's, it's so much. It's so much more than girls walking down a runway and clothes on some and a designer. Please, I know that's the whole purpose, but the idea of what she did and how she started, and I saw it from the beginning, and who will support and show up and be here, that takes time and dedication and determination. You know, oftentimes when people say that you're a trailblazer or I'm a badass and all those things about trying to educate an industry that's important to understand diversity. And it's racial diversity and most of my concern with the fashion model. Because I know once the girl is seen on the runway, then I know that she'll be recognized and then it becomes next to the editor of a magazine, then it's to a stylist and then from a casting director. And once she gets on the pages of a magazine, once she's on in an advertising, it begins to affect the sublime minds of most people they start to recognize that color is now a big thing. The most important thing for me is trying to educate an industry. That's all I'm trying to do. And because my world was the fashion model, that's the thing I know best. I'm very proud of the achievement that has happened in the industry internationally. I'm very proud that right now we have so many beautiful girls working. Um, now I want to focus my energy on changing the perception that the black designer doesn't exist. Because it's so important. If they're good in business, they will exist. The most important part for me is actually making sure 
that they know how to have a brand, how to build a business. That's the hardest thing. Wanting to make clothes is very easy. I grew up in the garment district and I know how easy it is, but when it comes down to the retail, and the retail has changed so much differently than it was before. It's a hard business. So the objective is really to sort of like make them stand strong and eventually they'll blend right into the system. It's not an easy game, but really I'm very happy to be here. I'm very proud of all of you who are here. Hi, Dan. Dan. Anyway. Um, well, anyway, thank you very much. I'm very proud. Brandis Shoma, where is she? Thank you. Thank you very much, all of you, and I'm very proud to be who I am. <laughs>